In the old days of radio, they called this table a sound effects table. Somebody would be on the radio say, come in, they do this, and then had the squeaky door. <laughs> now, the guy you're going to meet next could have put this table out of business. What he does is he does this sort of thing, but with his voice, and it's extraordinary. The last time I saw him was at Tommy Bartlett's water show, and just to prove that sound needs no translation, he played the famous Crazy Horse Saloon in Paris about seven times. He's extraordinary. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Sound Effects himself, Wes Harrison. <laughs> Breaks. Thank you. All right, I do all kinds of sound effects. Sounds like horses. Here comes a horse. <laughs> Same horse. Here he comes. Cowboys on his back with a Colt 45 shooting. Shot the horse. <laughs> and remember that Colt 45? Let's pretend that's the famous gun right there. That was a famous gun. John Wayne carried one of these guns. Hopalong Cassidy carried one of these guns. And Ronald Reagan, he's carrying one of these guns. <laughs> Why do you laugh? He was a cowboy. He was like all the cowboys. They could load that thing one time. It was good for the entire movie. <laughs> shoot, shoot, shoot. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> they use them for machine guns. <laughs> That's impossible. No, it isn't. It says right here, Cowboy Uzi, made in Israel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy, what a gun. <laughs> they even use them for 75 millimeter mortars. <laughs> Whoa. Man. All right, here's one for you. How about a thunderstorm? Wind, rain, and then what would be missing? Lightning, lightning. Uh, no, I don't do lightning. <laughs> all right, let's put them all together. We got a thunderstorm. Now the thunder. <laughs> 